Get ready to once again get in touch with your emotions. Inside Out 2. It's time to talk about it. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? Clep Nape here for WeAreCritics.com. And today we are here to talk about breakdown and review Disney Pixar's Inside Out 2. That's right. It's directed by Kelsey Mann, uh, not directed by the original Inside Out director, uh, Peter Doctor, who is now the chief creative officer over at Pixar. No, this time directed by Kelsey Mann. And of course, starring uh, Amy Poehler is uh, still in this. Lewis Black is in this. Phyllis Smith. And then we have some newcomers to the mix, uh, like Maya Hawke, uh, Ayo Edabari, Emmy Award winner. Let me put some, some respect on her name. Uh, and then we have Paul Walter Hauser is in this as well. That guy's popping up everywhere. Uh, and he has some, he has a little bit of fun in this as well. Um, but before we talk about what did I think about Inside Out 2, let's talk a little bit about what Inside Out 2 actually is, okay? And about. Uh, Inside Out 2 is the sequel to the 2015 Disney Pixar animated film. Uh, very emotional story, uh, ladies and gentlemen, about uh, adolescence and, and getting in touch with your emotions and uh, feeling feelings for the very first time and what that means uh, inside of us internally. Um, it's such a cute spin on the name. And the cool thing about this, this story and, and these movies is that they have a lot of fun with the punny uh, jokes and putting a spin on, uh, you know, just on the nose humor that, you know, dad jokes, so to speak. And they do it very well, very cute. And, and it's very emotional, the story. I, I'm not going to lie. First one go around. I did shed a tear too. Uh, it is that emotional, especially if you can relate uh, to what they're actually talking about when it comes to understanding the feelings that we feel uh, on a day-to-day -day basis from childhood to even adulthood. Now, this particular story continues the story from the original film. Uh, we are following Riley uh, Anderson, a young girl who is now transitioning from middle school to high school. Um, and now we're getting a, a slew of brand new emotions to get into the mix of the original emotions that we all were introduced to in the first one, I believe, which was uh, joy, anger, sadness, uh, fear, uh, and disgust. Those were the originals. And now... In the mix, we have anxiety, we have envy, we have uh, <laughs> Ennui, who, <laughs> who is probably one of the funniest characters, which is, for those who don't know, what like the Ennui is like boredom, uh, you know, that teenage boredom that kind of settles in. All you parents know what I'm talking about. And then Embarrassment, who is probably one of the most delightful characters uh, in this film, similar to what uh, Sadness was like for us in the first one. Um, yeah, so all these new emotions come into play, and then we get to see Riley uh, kind of transition into understanding herself. Uh, so this is a, a really uh, intricate story about learning oneself uh, when you have to make decisions on your own, um, breaking up apart relationships you may rely on or kind of use as a crutch. Um, and then you got puberty in the mix. <laughs> so there's a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of punny humor, uh, that just works a lot in this. And let me tell you what I thought about Inside Out 2. All right. This one, I, I honestly don't think this one is just for the kids, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Although there's, you know, it's it's cute, it's colorful, it has a lot of fun stuff, but any kid that grew up on the original that is now grown up, this is what, nine years later from the original? So if they were, you know, at a certain, you know, age when they first saw it and you catapult them nine years later, they should be like tween years by now. Um, this movie is definitely for them. And I feel like there is a lot of messaging in here for us adults as well, especially if you're dealing with children uh, with, you know, mental health issues or concerns or, um, you know, maybe ADHD, anxiety, that kind of thing. This is an eye opener for us adults. I enjoyed this movie so much. Um, just understanding and just kind of relearning human behavior. And that's... One of my favorite things about movies is when you can tell a great story about human behavior, no matter what age group it's for, this movie is going to hit all, all ages, all aspects, whether it's just 
the cute, cuddly, colorful things that a younger kid is gonna uh, gonna pay attention to, to the tween years where they may be questioning um, their womanhood or their teenage uh, years and wonder, un- trying to understand why they feel a certain way about things. And then for us adults or parents who are looking at our children in one lens, uh, you may start looking at them in a different lens after you see this film or while you're watching this film. I really think that they do such a great job at knocking it out the park as far as helping you understand in a fun way. It's not preachy. It's just, if you're familiar with the original, you're going to love this one even more. Like, it's just the tie up at the end, ladies and gentlemen. I like, it's it's such a, such a fun ride, but at the same time, it's an emotional ride. And I will tell you this, you're going to feel the way Riley feels. You're getting introduced to all these new characters. And I think, I swear they did this on purpose because of all these new uh, emotions that come into the mix. It's jarring. There is a lot, like there are moments where you're like, oh, uh, like you want to just grab your head because the frustration and the confusion and the, you know, the the emotions and things that are happening. You're like, you you feel like you're literally on the journey with, with uh, young Riley in this in this thing, especially uh, revolving around anxiety and and the the conflict that's that's happening within uh, the character anxiety and and joy and all the other emotions. It's it's brilliantly done. Like I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm so happy that this is as good as it is. And I will say this, watch the first one before you watch the, like literally I'm talking back to back, watch the first one and then immediately go see the second one. And I tell you this because you will connect more. I I understand some people can remember, I can remember things that I've watched months, years ago, but I'm telling you the emotional ride for the Anderson family, just the family and Riley, if you're fresh and you understand where she started and where she is now, the payoff is just so much more. And I'm telling you, you're going to, you're going to kind of hope or wish that there's more story to be told. Um, That's how I felt walking out. I was like, oh, I, I honestly can't wait to see when, you know, this comes into play or when she might do this or do that. Like it literally sets things up for what could be, and I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee there will be another one of these movies because this one is, the first one's great, this one's done just as well, and if you care about these characters or these these animated figures, so to speak, you're going to want to know more, you're gonna wanna see more. Uh, There is like a mid credit scene that kind of runs within the, the credits so you might want to sit and watch that because it does kind of give you a little bit more of what riley's going through in a funny way uh even the parents too you get to see you know the whole dynamic uh yeah that that's literally all i gotta say like inside out ladies and gentlemen it is a ball of fun a ball of emotions um and the tie-up you know it you get a better understanding of human behavior whether it's for yourself or maybe somebody that's very close to you it opens your eyes. It, it, it just readjusts the lenses for you uh, in the best warm possible way. That's all I can say, ladies and gentlemen, right now. Let me know. Are you excited to see Inside Out 2? It hits theaters June 14th this weekend. So get out there. Make sure you buy your tickets. You can buy them early. Buy them now. You can buy them now. But make sure you watch the first one. It's on Disney Plus right before you see this one, just as a refresher to kind of get yourself in the mood. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got to say about this. Like, comment, share. Make sure you subscribe. And of course, for more movie news, television news, and pop culture, check out wearecritics.com. And I will talk to you all later. Peace.